Hello everybody and welcome back to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare 2. Season 6 is here, but I gotta preface this with something very important that I want to say outright, just immediately at the start of this video, so you understand why I'm not going to be covering COD for a bit. Um, or why I may not be covering COD for a bit. Essentially, if you're unaware, there was the, which uh, I'll be shocked if you weren't aware, it is everywhere. Um, the sag after and WGA strikes um, have been going on for a while now. WGA recently just got a deal that works for them, and that has passed. However, uh, sag after is still working on a deal that suits for them. And in doing so, they're also trying to go after video game developers, Activision Publishing being one of them. So if a strike is to begin... This will be the last video I'll be doing on COD that will be posted for a while. I will be doing videos on them in advance, so that way we do have th those videos planned out. However, if the strike is to go through, I will not be covering anything related to COD or Fortnite or Starfield or anything along anything on the striked games list. I will not be covering. Um, so expect a bunch of Fortnite, Destiny 2. Maybe some more Let's Play and Indie Game stuff. And, uh... Yeah. That being said, we're just gonna hop right in. We're gonna be doing the two new map mosh pit. And I'm not gonna be using either of the new weapons. I did get the battle pass. Um, because it's part of content. So I did get the battle pass and everything. However, like I said... That is a KB broadside. Does Valerian normally have the KB broadside as a weapon? Yes, but yeah, you basically get a Valeria Black Cell. So she's like part robot, cyborg. It's kind of cool, kind of hot. You also do get access to Spawn, who is a thing. Um, and it's very cool. I have not seen anything on him. All I know is I'm already dead. Bring your worst. He is voiced by Keith David, the same person who played him in Mortal Kombat 11, and I'm very happy about that. Um, but yeah, again, I'm prefacing this now by saying I stand with sag and the WGA, um, and that the purchases I have made today are done before any strikes have happened, and even so, I will not be covering the game, I will still be playing it, unless a boycott is said, so, regardless, we're gonna go back into the content, but... On that note, you're probably wondering why are you covering this? Why do you care? Yeah, yeah, I'll might as well end this conversation off now. Um, while I don't want to pursue it as a full-on career, I do want to be able to partake in voice acting stuff. I know it sounds weird coming from a trans woman who does not have a very feminine voice. I still want to be able to do... I still want to have that as an opportunity on my list of things to be able to work and strive towards. And, again, while I know it won't be a thing that I will... Why is Prisoner Rescue in here? Well, sure, we're going to do a, a respawn... Uh, no respawn mode, I guess. Everyone's going to be sweating in these modes, so hopefully I don't get my ass handed to me. Anyway. I don't know if you can hear in-game chat. Probably not. Um. Regardless. I'm actually gonna run an AR. I've not played this map yet. But, uh, yeah. I, uh, basically want to say that I will be... I want to have that as an opportunity to be able to do stuff and not be yelled at in terms of content, or in terms of uh, a possible career or side thing that I do, um, which is why I am not going to be covering Call of Duty if the strikes do end up happening. Regardless, 
I am very excited to see what we're going to be getting in terms of Call of Duty uh, Warzone stuff because I will say we are getting a lot of cool content. We've got Spawn. We're getting a whole bunch of operators. Uh, Lilith, Alucard, Helsing, Skeletor. <laughs> I can't help it. I'm saying it's not loud. Uh, also, we got a bunch of spawn themed stuff in the battle pass. This entire battle pass is spawn themed. Uh, and the other thing carrying over, it's quite cool. Epic. Oh, it's the shot. Ghost online. God, this is such a fight that I did not want to be taking. Hopefully, we don't get a respawn. Mo Hopefully, we get a respawn mode next. I don't know why Prisoner Rescue is in the rotation. I don't know. I love. One life modes like this, but when I'm trying to make a video, not quite necessarily the thing I want to be playing. Regardless, again, um, again, again, I'll ask you purposes once again, just to make make it very clear. I am going to be doing it only for during the duration of the strike. How long that strike lasts, I do not know, and it also very well could be a thing where the strike could not even happen at all. All I know is that at least for the month of October and moving forward, essentially evolving anything, anything that would warrant breaking the picket line or whatever, I will not be doing that. Anyway, back to the content, because we're here to do the funny video game stuff, not be all dreary. And talk about stuff. Regardless, I do like uh, when people are paid for their job. That's why I am trying to prioritize giving people their right to earn money. I just barely got there in the end, too. Hopefully, oh my god. Come on. Come on. Honestly, I might leave this game only because it is taking forever. In fact, you know what? I actually am going to leave. I'm sorry, but I'm leaving if only because I want the game. I want to be able to progress to another map. Uh, we will just go back in. Actually, no. We'll just requeue for La Casa 24/7, and we'll do a map. A game on each... Mm, I've already done for 10 minutes. Either way, we'll do Koro Village. 
Um, obviously we have the new lobby screen, which looks freaking dope as hell. Uh, but yeah, I am going to be trying to cover a bunch of different games. Sorry, I wasn't talking. I was reading a thing. Um, I will be covering a bunch of different things in terms of content. I'm going to try to branch out to more things. Um, I'm going to try to branch out to more things. Um, mixture of indies. Um, might be doing mainly just more Let's Play stuff as much as I don't like doing it too, too much. Um... Probably more along the lines of, uh, maybe ping. Probably along the more lines of stuff of, like, stuff that's not going to be covered in the strike. So, unfortunately, it means a couple of let's plays that I had planned are going to be unfortunately canceled for the time being. Um, like, I, uh, I'll straight up say it. One of the upcoming let's plays is going to be Resident Evil, and another one is going to be, uh, Death Space 2023. Both those will have to be delayed if the strike if the strike ends up going through. So a couple of space will basically be shifted around, which is fine. Probably continue doing more coverage of the Teal Mask over the next week or so, as well as maybe doing some more Smash Online, Splatoon. Um, thankfully, Nintendo is not one of the companies being struck, so I will be able to do another Let's Play I've been planning on doing. But yeah, that is only this reminder, this is only if the strike goes through. So the strike very well could not go through and I'd be and I'd be able to cover it. I will basically update you at the beginning of the that the on the upload that goes up that is the start of the strike, it will be the case. But for now, presume this is the only caught upload until we hear more about the SAG after the strike. And, yeah, I hate to be constantly bringing it up and wanting to basically have it be the entire topic of the video, but... Yeah, I'm just like, hey, I don't want to be that person, so I'm just going to play it safe and not cover it until we get news on said strike. It very well help, but guidelines can be very different. I'm just going to assume that until we're told... That it is basically a no upload slash stream type thing. Um, or, in general, it would probably be a thing where it is entirely just uh, no buy. Or, like, no play at all. I hope it's not a no play, like a full-on boycott, but... Uh, that's not me saying I don't... That's not me saying I don't want to boycott, the, boycott it. It's like, I just hope it isn't, because I have been enjoying a couple of games that... Would be on that list as a Starfield. Um, but, yeah, and also it would not be Bethesda Games, it would just be Starfield specifically because one of the companies, I think it's Blind Light, uh, helped get VAs for um, Starfield. So, if it's a full on boycott, I'll still partake and not play the games, but it's going to be still kind of painful because, again, I've been enjoying uh, Starfield and obviously Call of Duty just a new season. I want to grind this out. Thankfully, Destiny is not one of the games affected, so... Unless they stayed it. But as far as I'm aware, it's not. But I have plenty of other games to play. I think Payday's not affected either. Valve, I don't think it's heavily affected. Um, 
Even then, again, I will, I'm basically just reiterating that until we hear something, I'm going to assume it's going to be a no content thing, unless we get guidelines, in which case, the first video that is posted on it, I will immediately link in the description the SAG after stuff. In fact, in this video, there's going to be a link to SAG after, so you can go ahead and support them and go to the reasonable channels and stuff to find that. I'm not super well versed in this kind of thing, it's basically a whole mess of words and jargon that I, my small, tiny brain cannot understand, but if you're somebody who can make sense of any of it, go ahead, the link's in the description. It'll be the first link in the description, above everything else, top, like, top, top of the description, so, yeah. Gross, I've been having fun using this FR Advancer, by the way. I think this gun's really good, and this map is very meh. I like the vibe it's going for. But the overall everything else is kind of mixed. But um, I might as well talk about something else that's happened recently. Um, or not necessarily something that's happened recently, but I might as well talk about some upcoming video plans that obviously I'm going to have to can a couple of them. But um, let's talk about them anyway. I do plan on having a Starfield essentially first like 100 hours, or I basically hit level, almost hit level, hit level 15. So it'll basically be like the first like few hours of games that I've done, and all the footage I have recorded is going to be um, un like spoil spoiler free to the to a point. There's a I think I finish a quest where I do a single quest, it's not main quest. It's gonna be mainly side stuff. As well, it's gonna be all on one planet mainly. So there's that. Um, regardless, that will probably go up either. It'll go up soon. Strikes. Like, non-withstanding. Um, or strikes. Re regardless of... Uh, or Depending on the result of the strike. Not regardless of the strike. I'm not... That's the freaking line. Um, if uploading... You, you get the idea. Again, I've, I've reiterated this enough times. If I'm allowed to upload content, I'll upload content. If I'm not... Um, then I'm not. But regardless... You get the idea. Okay. But, yeah. Um, other videos I have planned. Obviously, Teal Mask is nearly done my playthrough of it with Eevee. Um, I basically am only... We have a... They're not cheating. So they have a jug suit. Unless they are cheating. If they, if they get an MGB at 30 kills, I'll be very impressed. Um, regardless. Um, but, yeah, essentially... Um, Teal Mask is almost done. I basically have to do... A couple... Probably maybe one or two more videos on it, and then I'm done. And then I do plan on doing a. That was mean. Uh, I do plan on doing a video on. Frick, what's it called? I don't even know what I was gonna say. I do plan on doing a video on a couple of Nintendo games stuff. Um, I plan on doing a couple series on games that are on Nintendo's library. I do hopefully. Plan on doing a series on Mario Odyssey because I did end up getting that, so we'll probably be covering that in the near future. Um, what else is there? Um, I don't know if Bandai Namco is going to be striked. Um, if it is, I was going to do a playthrough of Elden Ring as a series. Um, but obviously if it's striked, I will not come. I will do the series just wait until it's not being striked to cover it again. Like I said, that whole thing. Um, whoop.
Uh, unfortunately, obviously, games under EA can't cover, so Apex is out the window. I know I haven't been playing Apex, but still, um, I believe Ubisoft's games are also out of the picture, so Siege is also out off the table, albeit, again, I don't know. Uh, again, I'll wait until I get a, li a proper list, so if I play a game that's, that seems like it would be on the list, it's because it's not listed at all. Regardless, um... Mainly gonna be trying to stick to Nintendo games, maybe some indies, and Destiny 2. So, again, it's shaking up stuff, but I want to support the people who deserve um, to get a working wage and be have their benefits protected from AI and other bullshit, because I am a firm believer that AI cannot replace people, and I am a firm believer that AI... Well, it is going to be the only way we as people can advance. I do not think it is going to. It is right to replace humans in that way. Um, I do think there are there is a place for it. I think replacing people is not that way. Um, I might as well, uh, bring this up as well. Um, I do plan on doing a series on a game that will be striked. I know for a fact will be striked. Um, and that is, again, it was going to be Dead Space 2023. I was going to have a bunch of horror games to be under the list of horror, uh, games for the, basically, October. I was going to do, a, like, the thing that I did last year or something, where I basically uploaded a different spooky game or... A different let's play every day for like not every day but like during the week i'd upload a different lp mixed in there um so if all the games are kind of eh in terms of the horror department um that's why because i wanted to make sure that said thing was essentially not being straight again i'm sorry for my having that be the top of the entire video i just want to both reiterate a i stand with them and b i am that B, I stand with the sag -Aftra and... Or A, I stand with sag -Aftra and B, I am not going to cross the picket line for the sake of content. And I want to basically be very clear and open about that. That I'm going to be sacrificing content for the sake of the greater good. Anyway, that being said, hope you guys did enjoy this. Leave a like, subscribe, uh, support sag -Aftra in the description below. And then support me. That Those people are more important than me. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys next time. Bye. And I'll see you tomorrow for Destiny 2. Wee.